Okay, welcome to this week's PHP tutorial. In this uh, series, we are going to be creating a URL shortening website type thing. Um, you're probably familiar with these uh, sites like Tang URL or bit.ly is another one. Um, that loads basically. Google has one. Goo.gl. Anyway, um, I found out today. <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, so basically what this site does is, say you have a long URL, something like this, you can go to this site, paste this in, and it'll give you a shorter URL, sort of at its domain, um, that you can then share on your blog or whatever. Um, I think the idea became popular because Twitter got popular and it had limited characters and people wanted to post links and some words. So, yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, it's very simple concept, that may be partly the reason why there are so many sites, but we're going to do um, basically that. It's going to be a very short series, actually. Um, there are only three functions that we're going to create, and then obviously the interface, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Um, there's going to be basically two pages, this shorten.php, and I've created another file, I've just called it go, go.php, which will redirect the user. I'll also explain in the next part how you can use a HT access file to make your URL even shorter than that, than with the PHP script in there as well. So, so yeah, that's that. Um, so basically, how this works is, um, say if I type in a URL here, like betterphp.co.uk, and hit shorten, you see we get this. Your URL is this. Um, this key equals three is the bit we've automatically generated. Um, if you were to type in a URL that was already in the database, um, so if I type in uh, Google, spelt right, credit UK, now I think I did dot com. Anyway, let's try it. Hit shorten. You see, we get key equals one because that's the key of Google in the database. Um, so basically, the way this works is if I just copy this and stick it in a new tab will get redirected to Google, as shown here. If I did the same thing again, but with three at the end, you see it'll get redirected to my empty website. Um, so that's basically how it works. Um, this number, uh, after you get past 10, or when you get to 10, it will start using letters to count up further. Um, I'll explain that when we get to it. Uh, well, actually, if I just... Mm, I want to demonstrate that, but I don't have to type in loads of different URLs. Well, let's do that anyway. Let's type in... Oh, I can demonstrate. If you type in an invalid URL, uh, you get this message. The URL you entered does not appear to be valid. Um, that's done. Five errors. Oh, no. Um, why is that? Uh, oh, I've... What have I done? Okay, well, I'm going to sort this out in a moment. Um... Oh, okay, right, I've made a bit of a mess. Well, we'll sort that out later. It's not important at the moment. Um, right, so you get this message, the URL you, appear, you enter does not appear to be valid. Uh, if you enter a URL longer than 1,024 characters, you will get a message saying the URL is too long. Sorry. Um, the reason for that is just because that's the limit we set in the database, and we don't want people shortening URLs and thinking it's worked when it hasn't. Um, so okay, let's just type in some more URLs. Uh, let's just go to Google and let's search for something like um, internet. And then let's just copy the first ten and let's let's shorten those. So that's key four. This one will be key five, like so livinginternet.com, whatever that is. Key 6. Uh, I did that already. <laughs> do, do, do. Key 7. It's taking longer than it should do. Be link location. Key 8. Almost there. Looking nothing bad came up on the search. Key 9. And key A. You see, once we get to 10, um, we go to letters rather than numbers. So that's something. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, and it'll keep going up to then. And when we get to uh, Z, 
it'll go back, it'll start um, Z1, then Z2, Z3, Z4, Z5, Z6, Z7, 8, 9, and that'll be ZA, ZB, up to ZZ, and that'll be ZZ1, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, that's just sort of a nice way to do it. Um, that key is generated by one very simple line of code, um, the base convert function does that for us. Um, it's just a nice way. I've seen some videos for some tutorials where they've just used numbers counting up. But obviously, after you've got um, the point of this is that when you have like a hundred thousand uh, URLs in your database, uh, you want to keep your keys as short as possible. Um, that's the same reason we check if a URL is already in the database before we output the key, before we return the key from the function that shortens the URL even. So yeah, that's basically the system. Uh, if I just go up to our folder, you'll see the other page, go.php. If you click on it um, without supplying a key, you just get this invalid URL key message, just just for the sake of showing something to the user, really. Nobody should ever see that. And then, like I say, we're going to create a HT access file that will shorten this even more, so you won't need this go.php slash key part. It'll just be like slash the key, so it'll just be that, and that'll redirect, obviously, the moment you get a 404 error. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this introduction, and join me in part one, uh, where I'll start coding the one of the pages that I'm going to decide on in a moment. Oh, spoilers.